Network functions virtualization is one of the core technologies supporting 5G. Shikhar and Caroline, can you explain how your collaboration, VMware and Intel, is helping telcos advance NFE? Shikhar, maybe I can start with you. Sure, um, so first of all, 5G is a technology that at its core is virtualized. Uh, because if you think about uh, the idea and concept of like super heavy bandwidth that 5G brings, and then ideas of network slicing in terms of how you can compartmentalize this, these are all just basic notions of 5G that are going to be leveraged because of virtualization. Now in order to make virtualization a reality end to end and not just in sort of the bandwidth pipes, you need to have the infrastructure that supports 5G to also be virtualized. Uh, between Intel and VMware, we've been work, uh, working on technology for virtualization for the longest time, now for about 20, 25 years, right? And so, uh, I mean, Intel for much longer and then VMware for the 20 years that we've been in existence. In order to do this, we've got to have sophisticated um, uh, R&D engineering at the core processor level uh, become compatible with what we do from an overarching software and then bring the two together. And we are just delighted that our engineers are now working together to make this a reality for 5G. I, told, I could not agree more. Um, 5G is way more than RAN. Folks, uh, I've been working on virtualizing the RAN for a while, but in reality, the RAN needs to be working hand in hand with the network. and. VMware being the leader in that space, we're just so delighted that they are now helping us and jumping in and really moving the whole end-to-end -end 5G ready network a reality using the virtualization technology. And I, by the way, I just want to emphasize, I totally agree with Shekhar, uh, most of the, actually all of the operators we've talked to emphasize the fact that 5G is born in the cloud. Yeah. So, in terms of this partnership, what are the what are the key technology areas, and what's the focus of the partnership? So one of the primary things that we have worked in together between Intel and VMware is support for a technology called DPDK, uh, and so this is essentially, uh, I mean, it stands for Data Plane Development Kit. Uh, it's technology that Intel exposes at the processor level that we VMware have then taken advantage of in our switching technology. Um, and so we've got a switch uh, virtualization technology called NSXT. Uh, within NSXT we've got uh, a, 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 a software defined switch and that architecture now leverages DPDK from Intel. The advantage of this is that 5G is going to have a tremendously capable support for high bandwidth applications, low latency and high throughput applications. And if you think about everything from kind of narrowband IoT to uh, the fastest devices transmitting um, uh, terabytes of data. Uh, so you now have to have infrastructure that supports all of this. And in order to do that, it's kind of basic technologies like the DPDK uh, exposure from Intel that we leverage, which then makes a whole host of new applications now available on top of this infrastructure. And to me, this is sort of like the next new internet wave, right? I mean, 5G is going to open up uh, technology to new applications, even way beyond what people are imagining today. So, so Caroline, you, as, as you guys mentioned there, you, VMware's taking what Intel has done DPDK level. Um, this, this collaboration seems, seems unique. You've got, you've got unique strengths that, that, you're, that are coming together. How are the two companies' capabilities producing this, this collaboration? What, what's unique about it? Uh, the, the uniqueness is the fact that the, at the core of 5G is a technology that really opens the market for the uh, service providers. And the market extends way beyond consumers. I, 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 yesterday I was in a GSA workshop, I talked extensively mm -hmm. about the enterprise side, the factories, the manufacturing, and the fact that you now using this wireless network to control robots, for example, that's used for manufacturing, very precise uh, actions that need to be taken. The, now, if you look at VMware, your history, your leadership in the enterprise world really s comes in really well and very uniquely positioned this partnership by extending this from a 
uh, a service provider to consumer relationship to a service provider to a consumer to enterprise and a cloud ready 5G network. I don't think that we can have a better partner than VMware to really come in, bring their expertise from that world and come into the communication side. So we, I, I just really think that together, we'll be able to solve some of the issues we talked about yesterday. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, R&R, what is a licensed uh, spectrum holder will do versus a uh, factory owner. I think their expertise and leadership in that space will come in really, really well. I mean, the other thing I would add is uh, together between Intel and VMware, uh, we have taken the x86 architecture and we've made that available to a whole host of applications, right? And we started out with that historically in the data center. And so today there's hardly any data center application that doesn't run in a VMware virtualized on x86, uh, Intel x86 architecture. Now we're kind of looking at bringing that same transformation into the telecom and communications service provider space. Because historically this space has been very closed uh, it's been very sort of uh, purpose-built hardware-related um, uh, infrastructure. And so now we're just um, delighted to open that up, to essentially kind of go in and say, look, you can pretty much build any application, any virtual network function on top of this infrastructure using NFV that is then uh, supported by the uh, combination of technologies between Intel and VMware. Because it's important to know, that we're here at 5G World, but 5G is not just about the, the radio access network, it's not just about air interfaces. Yeah, right. the, the, the architecture is, is fundamentally Correct. shifting. Correct. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's end to end, it, it has to be cloud ready. So w w what are the pain points for those telcos that are making the evolution to 5G? They're looking at their, their, their core network as, as well. What, what, what are their pain points and, and how will your partnership hope to alleviate some of those? I've talked a lot about the issues we have to overcome. Um, the fact that 5G now gives you so much bandwidth, what to do about it. This is, you need to take that in order to serve the ver verticals. They are always the technology issues that we, we, the community is solving. There's also the business proposition side. How do you metamorphosize 5G from a technology to a market? And I think now there's probably equal number of people working on that as, as many people that are working on enabling the 5G technology, right? So this is a, a area that the uh, service provider may not be used to, right? They are the, the telecom service provider now, they are a web scale company. So we needed to help them make that transition. Intel from the silicon, the platform side, and VMware from the uh, virtualization technology leadership and enterprise expertise and leaders in the in the cloud space. I think together we will try to address some of that pain points. I don't know if you want something. Yeah, no, I uh, totally agree. And uh, I also think that um, a big pain point for 5G is the investment required, right? I mean, as with any new wireless uh, next generation technology. I think the advantage of 5G to me is that we, a uh, combination of VMware and Intel uh, and broader Dell technologies and Intel, we're coming in saying, look, how can we make your investment efficient? Uh, so for example, uh, the infrastructure that the, we would be enabling for 5G is uh, going to be capable of hosting a number of different applications and virtual network functions, right? So it's not a one-time single-purpose infrastructure. Uh, the other advantage is it, this supports the convergence of wireless and wireline technologies. Uh, and then yet another advantage is that this is just going to be the first time we're going to bring telecom service providers and communication service providers into the cloud economy. Uh, just kind of making them first class citizens in that cloud economy because this is uh, them being able to monetize what otherwise has been a domain of just, for example, the Amazons and the Azures and the Googles of the world. Great, well, Shikhar and Caroline, thank you both very much indeed for joining us on Telecom TV. Oh, thank you. Thank you.